I have on my VSI. May I have your EpiPen? Yeah. What's your full name? Colton Yardley. Colton Yardley? Mm hmm Okay. This EpiPen is prescribed to Colton Yardley. The doctor's name on the EpiPen is Dr. Oakton, and the expiration date is 10-10 of 2020. <clears throat> this medication is clear and not cloudy. I'm going to check my six rights. I have the right patient, I have the right medication, the right dose, the right route, the right time, and the right documentation. I'm going to contact medical control and ask for permission to administer <clears throat> epinephrine 1 1000 to my patient. Medical control, this is AEMT Kirksick, and I have a 26 year old male patient who's having an anaphylactic reaction. He has an EpiPen that is prescribed to him. The ex expiration date is 10 10 of 2020. <clears throat> the medication is clear and not cloudy. I uh, would like permission to administer 0 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine 1 to 1000 to this patient. Medical control has given me permission to administer 0 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine 1 1000 to this patient. So, Colton, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you your EpiPen, okay? okay? So I'm going to remove the blue cap and the needle is in the orange tip. And what I need to do is I have to put it into your thigh right about here. And it's a needle, so it's going to hurt a little bit. I'm going to just hold on to your knee to help you hold still. Okay. And I have to hold it there for about 10 seconds, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to choose the, the lateral side of the leg and about mid-thigh in between his hip and his knee, so right about here. And, okay, are you ready, Colton? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold on to your leg. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm going to place the used EpiPen into the Sharps container <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to record the time that the epinephrine was given to my patient. I'm going to record the route that it was given. I'm going to also record the dose. And I'm going to um, ask my patient how he's doing. Colton, does that feel like it's helping you breathe a little bit better mm -hmm. now? Yeah, I feel a lot better. I'm not itching anymore. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to continue to monitor my patient's breathing difficulty and transport this patient as a high priority.